In the USA and Canada, the water jacket method is the most common method for testing high-pressure tubes. It consists of pressurizing a tube filled with water inside a sealed container, filled with water, the water jacket, and measuring the resulting expansion. Figures 1 and E.1 in CGA C1 and ISO 18119 respectively provide a typical schematic diagram of a water jacket volumetric expansion test system. In this video, we'll show you a typical water jacket requalification of a jumbo tube, which is a seamless steel pressure vessel manufactured to either DOT 3AAX or 3T, TC, 3AAXM, or 3TM, or ISO standard 11120. Water jacket testing will allow volumetric measurement of total expansion, permanent expansion, elastic expansion, and expansion ratio. Tube requalifiers must have a requalification identification number, RIN, and are required to comply with 49 CFR subpart C, qualification, maintenance, and use of cylinders, which includes UN tubes. Tubes are generally required to be hydrostatically requalified every 5 or 10 years, depending on specification and certain conditions such as gas service, age, and packaging. Hydrostatic test pressures at time of requalification are 5 thirds and 1 and 1 half times service pressure for 3 series and ISO 11120 tubes respectively. Following identification of the tube specification and test pressure, the tube serial number is recorded. Before or after the hydrostatic test, a visual internal and external inspection of the seamless steel tube shall be performed according to CGA, C6, or ISO 18119, performing a preliminary visual inspection before the pressure test is recommended. Additionally, the test system must be calibrated in accordance with CGA, C1, or ISO 18119 to confirm the test system is accurate and in working order. Hydrostatic test system components include water jacket, expansion indication device, EID, pressure indicating device, PID, associated plumbing, and timing devices. The water jacket shall be sufficient size to allow a tube to expand freely in all directions and prevent leakage of air entrapment. The EID can be barrettes, weigh bowls, or microprocessors. Barrettes are used in this video. The PID is generally a high pressure gauge, which shall be calibrated. All plumbing shall be sized and installed to prevent leakage, air entrapment, or exposure to forces that can affect test results. The timing device shall accurately measure the minimum hold time at test pressure, which is 30 seconds, and is much longer, as may be necessary to ensure complete expansion of the tube. Having calibrated the test system, filled the tube with water, placed it in the water jacket. sealed the water jacket, removed all air from the test system, and set the water level in the leveling barrette at zero level. The test may begin with a gradual increase of pressure within the tube. While pressurization to full test pressure is permitted by DOT, it is highly recommended that pressurization be stopped before reaching 90% of minimum test pressure to check for any leaks. If a tube is pressurized below 90% of minimum test pressure at time of requalification, and a system failure or operator error occurs, this does not count as a test. Retest cannot be repeated more than twice, and test pressure shall be increased on repeat tests. If a successful result cannot be achieved after two repeat tests, the tube shall be condemned. Continue pressurizing the tube to full test pressure. Stop pressurization and hold until the pressure during the test remains stable. Once pressure and expansion readings have stabilized, as exhibited by the PID and barrette, 
The actual test pressure and total expansion readings measured in cubic centimeters of water shall be recorded. Test pressure can now be released and any permanent expansion after the tube is fully contracted shall be recorded. Readings shall be taken at the bottom of meniscus. The test technician shall review test results and calculate the percent permanent and elastic expansions to confirm the tube has passed the test. In some cases, the elastic expansion may also be compared to standard or marked rejection elastic expansion limits, REE, for sustainability for 10% overfill or 10-year requalification. Standard REE limits are published in CGA C5. Percent permanent expansion is calculated by dividing the permanent expansion by the total expansion and multiplying by 100. The tube passes the hydrostatic test if the permanent expansion is less than or equal to 10%. Elastic expansion is calculated by subtracting permanent expansion from total expansion. Finally, the tube can be removed from the water jacket, drained, dried, and visually inspected internally. Results of a final visual examination shall also be recorded, for example, approved, rejected, or condemned. The tube shall be inspected for any visible flaws as described in CGA C6 or ISO 18119. The test is completed after requalification stamp markings are applied in accordance with 49 CFR 180.213. These markings include month and year of requalification, RIN of person performing the test, and other symbols, such as a plus sign for 10% overfill allowance or star for 10-year requalification cycle. The tube can now be prepared for reassembly into a tube trailer or multiple element gas container, MEGC.